Hi there. I don't usually do this kind of thing. Uh, we're not a vlogging channel, but I uh, run B Music, which is a channel all about promoting uh, Brighton's music scene. And we host a load of videos on our YouTube channel, uh, some of the stuff we've shown on TV. And this is all about when I got an IFPI uh, takedown notice with absolutely no information whatsoever. And this is what I decided to do about it because I just got the video reinstated, the strike removed, and, uh, and I can see from the internet that a lot of people are having an issue with this. So I thought you might be interested to see what I did about it. So I'll just take you through the process really. They gave me a strike and made, <laughs> and I was a little bit affronted to hear that I had to go to a copyright school just to be able to get access back to my YouTube account. Um, and they suggested that I could uh, fight the claim or fight the, uh, the sanction. But they didn't uh, really give me any information about what song had apparently breached copyright. Now, our shows, uh, some of them had gone out on TV, and this was actually a show that was an archive of something that had gone out on TV. It's not even a very popular one, to be honest, but it was one that we'd done a lot of filming at a festival, at a dance music festival. We'd got a lot of permission from the artists to, to use music in the show, and they uh, may well have sort of had some music in the background of some of those interviews where we hadn't necessarily got the licenses or publishers permission or labels permission. The big legal word here is copyright infringement. Um, so I went straight to um, the gov.uk website to look for some uh, backup in terms of the law. However, they'd not given me any information about what it was I'd supposedly infringed, whose copyright it was, and who'd raised the case via the IFPI. Now the IFPI are the International Federation for the Phonographic Industry. And I sh yeah, I mean, they've got a job to do. Um, and I think it's probably the monetization aspect um, and the fact that the, the real rights holders don't hold uh, the keys to distribution of that music that they're supposed to. Um, so fair enough, they've got a job to do, but not to give you any information on a case that's been raised against you, a strike against you, just defames you as a, as a channel, really, uh, especially when that's not the kind of thing we're about. As I found out, there are ways around it. Um, so the legal terminology is copyright infringement. And I found on the gov.uk website, searched copyright infringement. Now gov.uk gov is obviously the UK um, uh, sort of legal um, base for everything. Um, in fact, this one's from the Intellectual Property Office. US, different countries will have different um, organizations that, that uphold those kind of laws, I imagine. Now, copyright is infringed, according to them, when any of the above acts are done without permission, whether directly or indirectly, and whether the whole or substantial part of a work is used, unless what is done falls within the scope of exceptions to copyright permitting certain minor uses. And it's that word exceptions, within the scope of exceptions, which got me thinking, so what are these exceptions? Without too much difficulty found uh, a guidance to the exceptions of copyright, um, this is also probably what comes under legal terminology of fair use. So I uh, went ahead and did a bit of searching and what I turned up was, so the main headlines in terms of exceptions for me uh, were the non-commercial aspect. Uh, we don't monetize the videos that I know have a lot of um, music in them because, uh, well, the videos themselves don't generate loads of cash for us anyway. And uh, the other headlines were su sufficient acknowledgement and fair dealing. Uh, so in relation to certain exceptions, if you're making use of that exception to copy someone else's work, it is necessary for you to sufficiently acknowledge their work. And uh, and we had acknowledged use of every single artist uh, that had given us permission for their music. Uh, and if we hadn't, that was because it was just in the background. And that's where this next headline comes in, and that's fair dealing. And fair dealing is a legal term used to establish whether a use of copyright material is lawful or whether it infringes copyright. There's no statutory definition of fair dealing or fair use. Um, it's pretty matter of fact, and they take each case as it goes. And uh, things that they identify, uh, that have been identified in the courts as relevant in, de in determining whether something's fair dealing is does the work affect the market for the original work? Well, if you're giving fair acknowledgement and it's, uh, it's, it's only there as a, as a sort of, uh, to, to give substance to something that's a current event or a review or a report, then you know it's not affecting, if anything, it's promoting uh, the market for the original work. 
And is the amount of work taken reasonable and appropriate? Was it necessary to use the amount of, that was taken? Um, or could only a part of it be used when you use the whole thing? Um, and it's this bit really where where it really sort of hit home that actually we had absolutely no reason whatsoever for finding any fault with anything we'd used. We'd given acknowledgement and it was fair use. Um, so I wrote an email back. Now, my first thing was to identify exactly what song someone had taken issue with. If you want to raise these kind of queries with them, I noticed some people have been having issues getting responses to their emails. Um, I sent, uh, well, I originally sent emails to about four different uh, addresses that I could find online, did a bit of uh, searching. I sent it to euroinfo at ifpi.org and I sent it to info at ifpi.org. I could also find um, an email address for their new communications director, so I added him in as well. I cc'd in um, YouTube's copyright at youtube.com email address as well, as they seem to be the ones that deal with DMCE takedown notices. And I got emails back and had, had, had communication with notices at ifpi.org. That's notices with an S on the end at ifpi.org. In my email, I state, um, there is no other information provided with this takedown notice. and I'm requesting further details with regards to what piece of music or video you believe we have infringed copyright of. They came back and said they needed a URL of the content that had been removed so they could investigate the case further. Fair enough, I sent them the URL, not really sure how it's gonna help because the video had been taken down at that point. Um, and I did point out to them that under the exceptions of copyright guidance laid out in the intellectual property office, I do not think we had breached any copyright. That fell on deaf ears and, uh, and they came back saying it was a report for containing audio for the track Lift Off by the artist Jay-Z and Kanye West. Well. I'd never heard that song before. Um, I looked it up. Don't don't think uh, we'd ever considered using that piece of music in our in our report. Whether you know, let alone let alone sort of spoken to the artists themselves at the event and uh, and therefore had a reason to use the music. So um, so I asked them, you know, where where exactly is this music in the in the uh, video? I haven't tried to use it. I haven't attempted to use it. It could be that it had been caught in the background whilst doing live interviews. You know, explain to me exactly where this is in the video. To which they had to ask me to send them the video. Um, now, I was a little bit annoyed about this because if they haven't even looked at the video, they've simply got this automated notice or a takedown notice from someone based on probably very automated algorithms that are searching the internet for things. I mean, to, to raise a strike against someone's channel um, with absolutely no proof and to and to insinuate copyright infringement, which is illegal terminology, is, is downright wrong, to be honest. Um, so I sent them a download link and I said, um, the, the fact that you clearly haven't checked the current content or recorded the details of the infringement based on UK law and I, therefore acting in uh, quite a legally uh, aggressive way is cause for concern. Um, now, <laughs> they came back to me uh, not too long later um, saying, Universal Music Group have reviewed your case and have authorized us to retract the claim for the content. Hurrah. So um, they've contacted YouTube requesting they reestate the material and those changes should be made shortly. Um, yours faithfully, IFPI. They haven't apologized. They, they haven't even really acknowledged that they've done anything wrong. Um, I thought that was that. YouTube have told me the copyright claim has been released, um, a copyright stroke has, a strike has been resolved, and left, uh, unless IFPI is still claiming other videos included that strike. I had to check to see if that was the case. And then, <laughs> not long later, um, I get an update saying, this the same video uh, may have content that is owned or licensed by Conquer underscore CS, CMRRA, ICE underscore CS, Position Music Publishing, Tono underscore CS, TOS to underscore CS, P P E D L and EMI Music Publishing. But it's available on your YouTube. In some cases, ads may appear next to it. Well, so, I mean, is this just another way around it? Um, rather than a takedown notice, they're just sort of trying to put their adver advertisements on it. Not that I'm really bothered about that, but it's a little bit cheeky. Um, yeah, again, uh, I have to check the copyright notice page for more details on the policy applied to the video to allow them to do this. Um, but until I can do that, I have to go through copyright school. Now, and this is the bit that's sort of annoying me about 
everything. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. IFPI have admitted that. They've taken down the case and YouTube still think I need to go through some bloody copyright school in order to be able to do any updates to my video, updates to my channel. Um, I cannot... Yeah, I cannot make any changes. Copyright school keeps flagging up every time I try and do anything. Um, it's it's pretty bloody ridiculous, to be honest, that I've done nothing wrong, and yet I'm still being blamed for something. And, uh, yeah, that is that, really. Um, I'll update this if anything gets resolved. Um, maybe YouTube will want to respond to the video, and perhaps telling me why I still have to go through school for something that I pretty much schooled the IFPI on. And, uh, yeah, that's me. Good luck, everyone, with your issues. I hope this has been somewhat helpful.